and cue the new background. Hello, Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon. Right now, this is a very special two-part series of The Room. This is me reviewing The Room, giving commentary of The Room, and also giving some great fun facts about The Room. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy part one of this Room Spectacular on the Blue Futon channel. Thank you, and enjoy. All right, Chase Lee Hockey here again with the Blue Futon. Now, of course, it's gonna be a movie review, but in celebration, let's call it a celebration of Disaster Artist, directed, starred, and produced by James Franco, I decided I'm not gonna pick a movie out of the box. I am, for the first time, gonna watch The Room. Can you really trust anyone? So this is gonna be my first time watching it. I just bought it on DVD, and when I open it, it's actually kind of funny. You get a calling card, said shot, with the chance to buy his underwear. So I say that thinking, you know what, I want to buy this on DVD. And you know what, there's a Blu-ray version. And as of right now, today, December 2nd, if you go to his website, Tommy Wazoo, if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry, Tommy Wazoo's website, you can get the Blu-ray and a pair of underwear for $19.99. It is cheaper than Amazon from getting it just the DVD, which is $21.37. So it's a little plug. Support him at the room with the Blu-ray and a pair of his underwear for $19.99. Never seen this before? So you know what? This is gonna be really exciting. So you know what? The room. Let's see what he's got. Alright, thanks. Nah, this is too special. One second, please. We're about to do something special, guys. Get ready. Get ready for a surprise. All right, almost there, guys. I mean, can't forget the room. Let's do this. I think you guys know what's about to happen. Panoramic, I don't even know what I look like right now. Whoop whoop. Hey, it's about to go down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the room. All right, just got done watching the room and here are the highlights of me watching the room, watching me, watching everything. Yeah, let's roll those highlights. Now you smart cookies out there are probably realizing what we're doing. You're gonna get a first hand viewing experience of what I'm experiencing watching the room for the first time. Caramel m &Ms. got my champagne, which is actually Welch's sparkling red grape juice. Well, what? Give a celebration. The room. First time, you gotta do it right. All right, let's do this. Play this movie. I'm a little bummed though I haven't gotten on the Blu-ray. So that's my bummer. No Blu-ray. Sexuality, language, and brief violence. I wonder what the violence is. <laughs> I wonder if he was expecting more films. I do remember that in the uh, book. He said that two logos. Uh, these must be the B-rolls they did after doing the actual movie in San Francisco. Apparently they didn't get a permit to film any of these San Francisco shots. Hey. Fuller to California. Apparently the Blu-ray version, you can actually tell the difference between the HD camera and the 35mm camera you used. So that might be a double dip buy for me, is the room. I'll give this one to my brother Hunter or a good Christmas gift. Yeah. Ought to be roll still. Real skyline. Alright, here we go. Hi babe. I have something for you. What is it? It's just a little something. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Oh, hi there. Kids walk in whenever they want. Wow, look at you. It's from Johnny. Anything for my princess. <laughs> How much was it? I'm going to take a nap. Can I go upstairs too? <laughs> 
Jenny, I think I'm going to join him. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> stop, no, stop. <laughs> Danny, do you have something else to do? Yeah. I just like to watch you guys. Oh, Danny, Danny, Danny boy. <laughs> Danny, two is great, but three is a crowd. <laughs> For some reason, I wasn't expecting this so quick. Like, I was expecting more. I don't know. I wasn't expecting this yet, honestly. The after uh, post production laughing and dialogue is kind of good. It's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Camera shots and angles of this scene. Oh, it's raining now. Oh. Got some nudity. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't watch it to your parents. That was like a three minute uh, a scene. It's like almost an American, like a Euro European Gothic setting. A lot of roses and candles everywhere. Oh, we got a butt shot. I think we got some balls too. Yeah, I think I saw some balls. Five year relationship. Darling, you can't support yourself. Ooh. When the whole infamous, okay, there's some spoons. Okay, there's the infamous spoons. Pull up. All right, so Lisa's pouring my drink. Uh, there's some sexual tension. I don't want to get married. She's getting desperate. I don't love Johnny. I need you to look like you. Whoa! I am about 20 minutes in. I mean, I've seen worse. All right. Uh, in the first 17 minutes of the movie, we've gotten two intimate scenes. Two different guys, same girl. I guess the pacing they wanted to go super fast with this. They didn't want to get attention. They wanted to just get it. Tension out of the way. Okay. <laughs> the after uh, post production talking is pretty pretty hysterical. What they're doing right now. It's on a spiral staircase. Kind of awkward how they're filming it. They're going in between stairs and weird hand gestures. Put that hand in that butt crack. Now he's regretting doing this. Didn't you enjoy it? Intimate scene on the spiral staircase. All right, jump into the flower scene. Since I read the book, this scene was done after the main movie was done when they went to San Francisco to film some B roll. Hi. Can I help you? Here's the doggy scene. Can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> Here, you go. Thank you. Here, you go. Thank you. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Go. Keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're my Bye. favorite Bye -bye. customer. He does buy a lot of roses, though, that's for sure. Maybe bacon with pineapple, half artichoke, pesto, and light on the cheese. That might be the most disgusting pizza order. Fine. Who's Danny? You? you look beautiful today. Can I kiss you? So why yeah. is... This looks like they're having some cranberry vodka or something. Pizza showed up already. It is not the pizza they ordered on the phone. No pineapple or anchoke on that pizza. Why does she want him to drink? You arrived, it tastes good. <laughs> I know, I am right. Ah. Mm. You know, from mixed drinks to straight vodka. I'm tired, I'm wasted. I love you, darling. <laughs> Third one in 25 minutes. What's well, not as hardcore? Oh, I take that hardcore back. So yeah, this is the uh, thing they're saying, the same exact real footage of the intimate scenes used. It's the same exact footage used from 15 minutes ago, with just new background music. It's going to be some weird editing after this. And I'm dying. I'm not dying, Mom. <coughs> I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. That's a weird way to say Don't you have cancer to your daughter. Just concentrate on getting well. And he got drunk last night. Oh. And he hit me. Wait. I don't love him anymore. Ooh. So Johnny she is your financial security. You can't forcefully this. got yeah, him okay. drunk. 
You said he head. hit her. You don't want to talk to so me. So now that's why she got him drunk. Yeah. Just got but, okay, just two random people walked into the house again. Who are these two people? We had two people just walked in, got chocolate strawberries, and now they're making out on the couch. But, but who are these two people? Arms up. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's going on? I'm so confused. This is Michelle's boyfriend, Mike. Mike, this is my mother. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mm. So uh -huh. who's Mike and Michelle? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Denny. Denny, this is my mom. Denny, is it mom? Denny or Danny? This is Denny. Denny. How many people come in and out of this apartment every day? Thank this you, mother. This is Grand Central Station. I just need to borrow some sugar. Help yourself. I also need a cup of flour and half a stick of butter. Doesn't your home have a kitchen? <laughs> Sugar mom. The mom is Denny, the only sensible one in this movie right Johnny now. Johnny wanted to adopt Denny. When Denny turned 18, Johnny found him a little apartment here in this building and he's paying for it until he graduates from school. You can't really adopt anyone over 18, mom, can Johnny. you? Oh, we're on the roof now. Is this the infamous roof scene? Oh, who's this cat? What, five fucking minutes, eh? You know what? I've got five fucking minutes. Damn. <laughs> Everyone showed up at the the same time. Why do you cry? Okay, what money? Your friends. What money? What money? I bought some drugs off of him. Woo! Things drugs. Like I didn't mean for this to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have them anymore. You're out of drugs, Denny. It doesn't matter. I don't have them anymore. It doesn't matter. Dude, you used them. Did you get involved with drugs? Huh? Who are you giving them to him? Selling them to him? Where in the hell did you meet that man? What kind of drugs do you take? It's nothing like that. What the hell is wrong with you? I just needed some money to pay off some stuff. How much do you have to give him? This is not the way you make money. How much? Stop ganging up on me! Well, it is time somebody ganged up on you, for God's sake! A man All right, like mother. that, what in the hell did you mean okay. like that? It doesn't matter! It matters a great deal! A man holds a gun on you, you almost got killed, you expect me to forget that! You're not my fucking mother! You listen no, to me, no. old boy! <laughs> somebody had better do something around here! <laughs> Alright, so that mother... Are you okay, Danny? It's on point, actually. I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. He's What's okay? okay? He's taking drugs. On, Where did stop. Chris R go? A mistake. a mistake. Then he takes drugs. Let's go home. Come on, it's clear. What's clear? I am going to call the police. Mom, stop! It was Denny's mistake. Just stop. Stop. Let's go. But I thought Why Chris R. You know better, right? Was Why? with the cop. Sorry. I have to go now. I'll see you later. All right, the moral dilemma. Don't call me that. Okay. Of love. I did not hit her. It's not true. true. It's, it's bullshit. bullshit. I, I did not, not hit her. her. I, I did not. Oh, hi, oh, hi Mark. Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. What's up? Ah, oh, oh, there's the scene. She said that I hit her. What? Wait. Well, did you? Wait. No, it's not true. Don't even. All right, pause. So I got an hour left of this movie. It went from her. Wait, it went from the drug scene to them going downstairs to from a phone call and then straight to, oh my God, I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. So, reading the book, that whole oh, hi, Mark scene is, took almost three hours to say like 12 words, three hours. And randomly, the one shot he got was him actually holding a water bottle, which makes no sense. And he just basically threw the water bottle down. So that's another fun fact of the movie is the one scene he actually got it correct, he had a water bottle in his hand. That was the only time he actually had a water bottle. But now we're at the scene where, I don't know, randomly, somehow she told him he got hit. I don't, maybe that's later on in the future, but right now I do not know when that conversation took place. And now the infinite football scene might be happening. The green screen's pretty bad though. I don't know, I'm just, one of them found out about it, beat her up so bad she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Why? Yeah, say that again. Why is he laughing at I'm a so girl getting beat up? You as my best friend. Yeah, man. Yeah, you are very lucky. I used to own well, maybe you shouldn't have a girl, Mark. pants like that were, Yeah. When I was yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe twelve, where you have one already. unzip you know the yet. pants to become well, shorts. Remember, Betty? You just have those. Everyone comes in at the exact same moment. Like Danny comes in right hey, at the right time. Like no dilemma. I think I'm in love with her. Whoa! Hit he her. Hit you? 
He didn't know what he was doing. Wait, what? I can't believe you're telling me this. It's Mark, isn't it? Ooh, she knows! <laughs> Hello, Michelle. I hurt you. Michelle. What secret? Oh! It's between us women. You're lying! I never hit you! You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Lisa! Why are you so hysterical? Do you understand why? Isn't he hitting her when pushing her down? So that tear me up, pop, crazy. Lisa, was supposed to be a homage to I still love you. James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause, where he's like, you tear me up. I don't know how James Dean didn't have seen that movie, I need to, but that, that was supposed to be a homage for James Dean in Rebel Without a Cause. <laughs> That's not playing football. Studying, right? Why oh. is Michael hey, Donnick framed? There he is. Uh, can you just tell us about his underwear? No, no, don't break it. Don't. Underwear. Dude, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's embarrassing, man. I don't want to get into it. Why is it? Whoa. Oh, come on. Okay. You all right? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm Are you fine. okay? Sure. Uh huh. Right. Uh, uh, but what just happened? No, 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 no. I need to talk. I'm sorry. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah, Mark, take a moment. Why don't you take him home? And Mike, listen, if you need anything, call me anytime, all right? All right. Okay. Yeah. See you guys. See you guys. See, the underwear story made no sense. That scene made no sense. We'll split to hide on the spot of staircase holes. Okay, here's the famous recording scene. But yeah, first off, awful spot in the. Apparently, he does his recording scene because this is what he usually did at his house or his apartment in San Francisco and LA, is how he did it. But it still makes no sense because it's already an answer machine and it records already. But I guess he wants it on a second tape. I think that was his. Uh, reasoning for doing this scene. I wonder how long a cassette tape actually has before it has to flip over. I don't know that question actually or answer. Who's Peter? What's the problem? Oh, it's blind. Honey, you got a lot of faith in me, so. Hi, Mark. Come in. Oh, hey, Johnny. He's telling, the hey, psychiatrist dude. is telling. We're just talking about women. Johnny to get the door in his own place. Huh, interesting. Hey, are you running um, beta breakers this year? I am, sure. Peter Breakers. Uh, I'll do that this year. <laughs> I've done chicken, that. Peter, you just a little chicken. Chip, 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 chip. They're done in 2008 or 2009. Who are you calling a chicken? Oh, I just don't like all the weirdos. There's too many weirdos there. I, 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 I That's true. Blind. Mark, do you remember the one with the tits, the blondie one? No, how about the one with the bridal gown with the sun? Oh, yeah, can you marry me? <laughs> I thought I would take her up on it. <laughs> I never ate so much. You guys proved my point. You're both weird. It's not part of the movie. The Beta Breakers is a I did go running with them. There are some weirdos there. There's a lot of gay older guys completely naked. I like cover themselves with Vaseline on their genitalia so they didn't get sunburned. Same with just older ladies naked laying out the lawn and San Francisco's its own weird place. I mean... Not paradise, it's no. So they're saying that scene uh, about the check and moving two suitcases might have been his real story from Louisiana yes. to California actually That's moving. Oh, hey, How true is it? I don't know. Hey, Danny again. Why is everyone going the roof? Fuck you. Woo. Just chill out, Mark. I'm just trying to help. You're having an affair with Lisa, aren't you? Am I wrong? What? What are you, nuts? Get out! I like that scene. Let's just talk about your problem. You just try to kill me, but I'm sure you're okay. Yeah. You look really handsome. Why does he always have a football? Uh, your wedding pictures, you look great. Oh, oh wedding picture makes everyone just come in all at once. <laughs> all right. So Peter's tux is, has a black vest. No one else does. His, I know his real name is Greg. I can't remember. Mark. Yes, Mark. His tux is so long in the arms. Like it's, why are we throwing playing foot? And their uh, their definition of playing football is just spinning like this and not like that. But hey, let's go, let's keep going. Oh, hello there. Hope you liked part one. It was very interesting, wasn't it? A little commentary, a little fun facts. And you know what, just the right of laughter at the same time. Now part two is being edited right now as we speak. A couple more days, you can wait. Again, thank you for watching the Blue Futon. This is Chase Lee Hockey. I bid you a farewell. I did not hit her. I did not. Scene.